started to play soccer like around seven years of age. I was really bad at the time. Why I kept going was because I don't really give up on things. When I want to accomplish something, I keep going for it and I don't stop to like accomplish it. My name is Edwin Arias and I'm 14 years old. I started playing soccer when I was three years old. My dad introduced the game to me. When I play the game, I feel different than when I do anything else. I have a passion for it. My name is Caden Clark. I am 14 years old. I feel very honored, you know, great players wear the same uniform and stuff as I do every day. So every time I put on the uniform, I try to give my best to represent a fantastic club. I'm Jake LaCava and I'm 17 years old. Everybody's so close to each other, we love, we eat together, we go to school together, so I feel like everybody's really close and it's like a big, really big family. I'm Julian Araujo and I'm 16 years old. My dream is to play professional soccer in Europe in one of the top five leagues. My goal is to achieve being a professional. My dream ever since I was eight was to play professional soccer in Europe. My dream is uh, to go pro in Europe and being able to give back to my community of Bompo. Lo que en el fondo buscamos es compartir experiencias y compartir los puntos más importantes que tenemos a nivel metodológico. Consideramos que la clave de esta ecuación de éxito está en el entorno, en toda esa gente que puede formar parte de este talento y de esta actitud para que hagan posible esta formación deportiva de máximo nivel, con grandes entrenamientos, con una muy buena metodología de trabajo, con un plan B en la vida para que se puedan formar o añadir a la universidad. Es básicamente esto, hacer compatible deporte y formación personal. I'm just a big family and friend guy. Being a soccer player, you have to take uh, sacrifices, so I think that's one of the, like, the worst things I have. I think the food, though. <laughs> Honestly, always having to eat healthy. Ugh. Soccer is a big reward, but I also think the friendships that we make out of it. I think the new bonds that we've created is just as great as playing soccer at the high level. I feel the same way. I came a little late. They were all welcoming. It's the beginning, I felt like they were going to be my brothers, so. Cuando tú analizas desde el año 79 hasta ahora cuál es el denominador común de lo que representa Masía es sueños, es ilusiones, es familia. I think it's the speed. I agree, I agree with that. I think they're more physical. Teams out here, they have to work for themselves, so yeah. Keep the ball. They don't force anything. I think the quality is just better. How they move the ball, how they think on the ball. I felt amazing stepping on the field, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was the walking was, through the stadium made me realize like how much more I wanted it yeah, than I actually like it was, thought mo about. It was motivated. Yeah. Like see what you get when you make it. Back at Barca and Casa Grande, training every day, developing every day. I mean, I feel like someday I could get there. It's, it's all soccer, and it's definitely helped me a lot on the personal side. And we sacrificed our leaving our families to go there, so everyone's there for the same reason. I feel great being surrounded by all these like people who are so involved with the game because I think it helps push me to want to be better and want to learn more about the game and you know really thrive in this environment. It's helping me be better, um, knowing that they're at another level. How it makes me want to work harder and harder to achieve my goal and one day be in their spot.